Hello everyone, welcome back to Danganronpa, where I think we're ready to leave the area. Or get eaten by a crazy ass plant. Ooh, that would suck. <laughs> I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, I found nothing seems to make my... I, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. Once again, I am not reading any of the text <laughs> in the order it was intended. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Oh, it's just crazy one and crazy two. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall, and before too long, hmm. it would appear that everyone has returned. Uh, but still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still field a basketball team. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Owie. That's like <laughs> first positive thinking. Uh, anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what happened to what everyone discovered. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. They were metal plates on all the windows just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um, but what? But when I was looking around, I really saw something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Bathrooms? Staircase. Oh, staircase would make more sense. But Mike, I also don't remember seeing bathrooms. Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor. Yeah, you're right. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. What? But that's the hardest part. Okay. <laughs> Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out, no matter what it takes. I like how he goes from, like, depression to, like, yeah, we can do it, and to, like, you know... <laughs> yeah. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this were like a cliche <laughs> horror game, it'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or. But we're not in a horror game, though. Neither way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well, I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. <laughs> Such an ass. <laughs> By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What, what the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I, I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But, but I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words, I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. A bunch of people were killed in there? Stop, seriously? I'm gonna throw up. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? You're thinking the same thing then, my theory is. The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words. 
Mm, precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. <laughs> They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How is it that, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? It's a fair point. Talk Just to Toko, because she, she can't. Hey, Byakua, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. No, I'd forgotten about that. Jesus, man. I know you like torturing her, but come on. Hm. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us up... Envelop us all in your future breath. I won't stop you. You honor me, master. And don't worry, I, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously? You're just gonna take it? Sh shut up and don't interrupt when master and me are talking. Um. Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, I. I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this. A knife? Whoa, that thing is huge. It's like Rambo size. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? Oh, How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you going to use the knife for? What are you planning to do to us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I don't want to leave a knife laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it lying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? No, we can't just. We can't let Copo. Co Copo. Bleh, Copo. Topo. Uh, we can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Hmm, so what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? No! Huh? Me? <laughs> oh, yeah! I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that! Oh, God. H hold on, don't I get a say? Mm, just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <gasps> Remember that person was stabbed? Yep. Oh, no. Okay. So here you go, Makoto. Oh, no. They're acting like I already said yes. F fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Mm, hey, Toko. Uh, do do I still have bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a very valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. <laughs> I'm I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. Ah, uh, that would be ever experience such a dream. I feel so strange. So strange. <laughs> really strange. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Whenever I look at Togo these days, it makes me feel sad. God. You know? Well, there is a big garden on the f up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe. Hmm, what about the pickaxe? Well, there's a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm, crazy diamond, hmm. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's 
I don't just think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Ah, that's it. I remember. Ah. It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. But why would that be on a pickaxe in the garden? Because he went to the school before. Remember the picture? Yeah. Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it? Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed, the pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. What? <laughs> huh? How are you going to call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make crop circles. Who's going to see it? It's indoors. <laughs> well. And we can use those to call for help. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed <laughs> in you now than I ever have been. Uh, did we talk to Byakua? I think we already did. Oh, no. Did we talk to Kyoko? No, remember, um, Hero had like five things to talk to oh, him about. Oh, okay. You know? Alright. There we go. Stupidly large plant. Let's do that. Mon Monokuma said that it was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm sure it's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice Mario joke. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if I'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? Don't worry, you just answered it. You know? All right. Chicken coop. No, uh, no it wasn't the chicken coop. Chicken, chicken, chicken coop. <laughs> chicken coop. <laughs> there were a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. Stands to reason. That's right, five, five chickens, which is good luck for some reason. I feel like this is the count from Sesame Street. There were five, five chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them big and fat. Then we can make fried chicken <gasps> or barbecue. Decisions, decisions. She's crazy with food. I don't like where this is going. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? This took a turn. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. <laughs> Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Yo. So, what do we do? Or, now what do we do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But Wait. before we proceed, I need to figure something out. What? Why are we under your command <laughs> now? When did that happen? Ever I, since we, like, pretty much pantsed him in the last trial? True. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. I mean, that would get us out. <laughs> um, so... What is it you want to figure out? Hmm, Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is... Kyoko, right? Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. Sort of. More unlucky than lucky <laughs> these days, but... So what about you, Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what sh So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um, 
Um, now you mention it, she's never told us. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What, the heck? what, what do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... That doesn't stand up. Because remember at one point she said that she's ex she got used to examining dead bodies. I think she's lying. Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. You can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't believe me. No, I, you've demonstrated having some knowledge of your past. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. Whoa, no. No. But if she gives you her room key... She can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine, I understand. Good. You're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakua and held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. I wonder if she's been forbidden to say what she is. Maybe. Maybe she really did lose her memory. I don't think it's that. No, I think she has to have at least some inkling. Maybe she, it's possible, because remember at one point she asked what Monokuma had done to her? Yeah. Like done to her body? But, um, I don't know. There's parts of that just, that just don't add up. Like, especially when she's added that, like, she's used to handling dead bodies. So I'm thinking she has to remember at least some things. Mm -hmm. If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever where only the worst stuff happens, right? And Mijia would fit right in. However, the worst school where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What, what do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk Come away. On. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. The heck? Well, what's her deal? But I think you went too far. Taking her room key like that? <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her. Enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Togo. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... <laughs> but what's Kyoko gonna do now? Plus this situation, it's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura, and I, I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What? What the hell? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... Cuz, look! Oh, it's Monokuma. Uh, it's you! How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very! Oh, I'm really angry! <laughs> really angry. Angry at what? 
at the thief. Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst. Huh? What? Hey. <sighs> My precious. They stole it. Your precious. Your had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me with betrayal. Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um, but what the heck is your precious? Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless <laughs> on the street. What? What is going on? What? what the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, um, he said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might be? Hmm. Mm, likely has something to do with Kyoko. I do agree with that. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing to, and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? It's night time! Hmm, ahem. <clears throat> but as such, it's soon the doors to the dining hall will be okay then. Sweet dream. All right, fine, back to our rooms. Uh-oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. Hm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, don't go wandering around. Well, not like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well, then let's disperse, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Oh, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. I think you should put it in the bathroom that really doesn't lock. Yes. Or locks, but kind of, you know. Doesn't. Yeah. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into a room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... What? Na 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 na. <laughs> I've been doing that all day. <laughs> Mr. Roper. Mm. Well, I mean, I was waiting for you to say, oh, uh, that's why we're going to wait till the next episode because there's something creepy going on at the door. Right, there's something at the door. So that means we're going to wait till the next episode to find out what it is. So. Such a tease. I know. Someone, if there's someone mysterious knocking at the door and we don't know who it is. We just wait till the next episode. We to deal wait with until it. the next episode. Oh, That's it. how it works. Okay. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.